Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesome Our Pup. These delicious cookies are the perfect way to tell someone you love them, even if that person is yourself. I can't wait to show you how to make these. But before we jump into it, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any awesome videos. All right, so first we need to make the cookie dough. Let's drop in one stick of soft and unsalted butter. Then I'm gonna cream it together with 3 fourths a cup of white sugar. This is a really simple sugar cookie recipe, so feel free to use it as the base to any of your other creations. Now let's crack in one egg. And I'll add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix that up until it's nice and creamy. And now for the dry ingredients. In here is half a teaspoon of cream of tartare, cornstarch, baking soda, and salt. I'll give that a mini mix and then we can add in the flour. In this bowl, I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'll add that in slowly so it doesn't get everywhere. That looks good. It may look a little dry right now, but don't worry, it'll come together once we need it. Feel free to put on some gloves. Let's dump this onto a clean surface, or you can lay down some parchment paper. Then just knead it together until it's nice and cohesive. Let's color it now. I'm gonna drop in some yellow food coloring to make the emoji faces. The gloves really help with this part so your hands don't get all stained. Once you're happy with it, just set it aside and then we can set up the express maker. This has been preheating for a few minutes. Let's open it up and give it a spritz of nonstick spray. Then just lay down some flattened dough balls. Let's leave that in here for five minutes. Get out! Those turned out great! I'll place them on a cooling rack while we bake some more. The cookies barely spread, so let's lay down three this time. These smell delicious, and I can't wait to eat them! Oops, we've made a little contact here, but that's all right. I gotta perform a little separation surgery. Careful, careful. Whoops, a little mishap. But don't worry, it's not fatal. Check out all the cookies I made. They're the perfect shape for the emoji faces. While these chill here, let's go make the fondant that I'll use for the hard eyes. Yep, I'll be making it from scratch and with just three ingredients. First thing we need is a cup of mini marshmallows. This is going to be for the base of our fondant. Now add in a tablespoon of water. I'm going to microwave this for 20 second intervals until it's completely melty with no lumps. Now in another bowl, let's add two cups of powdered sugar. Then take your finger and make a little well in the middle. Now pour in all of that marshmallow goodness. Let's completely coat it with powdered sugar. I like to use the spatula at first, then once it looks like this, I'll go in with my hands to knead it together. Look at how cool this is! It's almost like we made edible Play-Doh. Now grab a piece and we'll color it red. If you want to put gloves on for this part, you totally can, since the food coloring is going to get all over you. But my hands are already dirty, so let's just go in. Once it gets to the color you want, grab a roller and roll it out. I sprinkled some powdered sugar on the roller so nothing sticks. 
Let's roll it out thin, but not too thin. I still want the cookies to have some dimension. Let's grab a heart cutter and cut out a bunch of hearts. See how the hearts are still plump? That's perfect! Let's go lay them on the cookies. If your hearts are having trouble sticking, just dab your finger in a little bit of water and then brush it on the side you want to stick. You can use the same recipe for the cookies and the fondant to make all kinds of emojis. Let me know in the comments what you would make or what you want me to make. Now grab some black writing gel and pipe on the smile. If you wanted, you could have also made the mouth out of fondant by coloring it black. Then you can use a circle cutter to cut out little moons. But I decided to go with this method to give the cookies a different texture. Give me a second while I finish drawing all of the smiles. There, all done! Check out all the cookies I made! I love the way they turned out! And I think I'm gonna like the way they taste even better. You can say that I have hard eyes for these hard eyes! Let's go plate this up! Look at all these emojis! They look delicious! It's finally time to try them out. Mmm, that is a good cookie. The texture is perfect. The inside is still chewy, while the bottom and the top have a nice crust to it. The fondant is also delicious. I was tempted to take a bite out of it straight from the bowl when we were making it. But then I wouldn't have been able to stop myself from finishing it all. And then what would I use to make these cute little eyes? All in all, I would definitely recommend this recipe. And I wouldn't mind using it again to make a different type of emoji. So let me know in the comments what you want to see. Fill that comment section with your favorite emojis and I'll see what's most requested. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did and don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!